Welcome to Life Journey. I'm so glad you took the opportunity to listen to Life Journey. Glory to God International. My message is on witches, my friend. My message for somebody that decided to turn their back on God and decided to become a witch. Galatians chapter 3 verse 1. He said, Oh foolish Christian. O Galatians, whoever with you, that you should not obey the truth. Before whose eyes Jesus have been evidently set forth, crucified among you, die for you. My message today, glory to God, is a craft that blind the mind of the simple. My, my, my message today is the promise or plot for joining witchcraft. Why the promised our plot for joining witchcraft? Hey, glory to God. I got to pull my chair up on this one, my friend, because there's 10 H's of the promise. Number one, it's a promise happiness. But it's misery at the end. When Jesus Christ said, depart from me, he workers of iniquity. Number two, it's a promise of health, but they ask, but they ask sickness, but they have sickness on the inside, especially their heart. Number three, it's a promise of healing for the body, but the soul become damaged in the lake of fire. Four, it's a promise of herbal medicine, their famous Remedy, but still not the solution for sin sick soul. Five is a promise hearing voices, but not of God, which is God's word, but deity that are demonic manifestation. What I'm saying, I'm saying to you, my friend, why the promises are plot for joining witchcraft. You might think, my friend, that I mentioned, you might think you have happiness, but it's misery. You might think you have health, but it's sickness. You might think it's have healing, but my friend, you are damning your soul to the lake of fire. You might think it's herbal medicine, but there's still no solution for sick, sick soul. You might think God is a, is a promise of hearing the voice of God, but it's a deity that's demonic manifestation. My friend, it's number six. It's a promise to have hope. But you become hopeless at the end time in tor torment and torture. I'm trying to help you as being a man of God to tell you that witchcraft is no solution. It's damning to your soul. Amen. So I say to you, it's promise you hope. But you become hopeless at the end of time in torture and torment. Number seven, it promise you heaven. But it's summer lake or summer land, a delusional place of the mind. Number eight, it promises you safety, but turn out to be horror. Sure passes what we have seen on television or Hollywood setting. Number nine, it promises you better health or better night's sleep. Turn out to be haunted, being tossed to and fro. And be honest, you haven't slept well since you've been a witch because satan my friend he's not your friend satan is hidden in witchcraft my friend they tell me that don't satan is not their master but it's only two power in this world there's a good and there's the evil hey glory to god there's god and the devil there's no in between, my friend, because even God, which is righteousness, and the devil is damnation. The devil is damn. Why you say that, preacher? Because Mark 16, verse 16, he that believe it not shall be damned. He that believe it and baptized shall be saved. So the Bible say, my friend, he suffered not a witch to live. So if you want to live, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ promised, glory to God, us life. The Bible said the devil come to steal. In John 10 verse 10, the Bible said, hey, glory to God, the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. So if you are a, a, a paganist, witch or voodoo doctor i'm giving you hope voodoo is not hope voodoo will send you to the lake of doom what well, i say voodoo is a religion to damn your soul to the lake that bake forever and ever with no ending 
You might not say that my friend, there is no place called hell. What if I'm right and you're wrong? What if you, after this video, die in your sin and go straight to hell? Guess what? You remember me. Hey man, you might you, you remember me of the guy that that end up glory to God that's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. My friend, I was in your shoes one day until I decided to choose Jesus. It's not because of people popularity. It's not because of, of opinion. Opinion don't matter, my friend. What uh, what matter is by you believing? The Bible says today you hear his voice. Harden not your heart. The Bible says boast not for tomorrow. In Proverbs 20, 27 verse 1, he said, boast not for tomorrow because we know not what tomorrow may bring. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. What I'm saying to you, my friend, why the promises are plot for joining witchcraft. It's a plot by the devil. The devil is not your friend. The devil is the corporate enemy. He's a accuser of the brethren. He's a worn line seeking whom he may devour. The devil not going to show that he's evil. A lot of people think the devil is a, is a man with a pick fork and a red suit. The, Bible, the people think the devil is a, is a monster with gooky coming out of his mouth. No, my friend, that's not the devil. The Bible say he's like a, he transforms transform himself in an angel of light. Even his ministers. So if you are looking for the devil, you're gonna find the devil as a as an ugly monster. He's a he's a he's a still beautiful. The only thing you he lost, he lost his power of becoming second in charge in heaven. So I'm saying to you, my friend, a craft that blind the mind of the simple. Don't be simple today. Be wise. The Bible said, be, be wise as serpent. Why serpent? Because serpent deceived Eve. But it said, be wise as serpent and harmless as dove. He wants you to be, be as, as two creatures. Wise as the serpent and harmless as a white dove. And a dove represents the Holy Spirit. So God trying to tell you that you got to be wise. Don't be foolish. Don't think that the witchcraft have give you gloom and doom, gloom and happiness. There ain't no happiness in the witchcraft. Listen, can, can you listen to me? If you're not going to listen to nothing else, listen to a person that his mother was a witch. Listen to a person, my friend, he was surrounded with witches. I'm telling you. What I know, what I've seen, what I've heard about the danger of witchcraft. My friend, and the last one, I quote to God, is promise you safe haven for the end. And you will end up in the lake of fire. My friend, do yourself a favor. Hey, glory to God, just listen to the word of God. In the book of Acts, hey, glory to God, the, the fourth, the eighth chapter. And the Bible talk about a man called Simon, Simeon. He was a witch. What it was, he was a witch. Hey, glory to God, a few minutes, my friend, I'm, and I'm going to get out of your head. Hey, glory to God. And listen what the Bible say. The Bible say, my friend, in verse 13, then Simon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he, he continued with Philip and wanted to be a whole in a miracle and sign it was given. But who was who was he? Who was he? He was in verse number nine of verse eight. But there was a certain man, hey glory to God, called Simon, which before in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was a, a great one, to whom they all Gave heed from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the great power of God. And to him they had regard, because that a long time he bewitched them with sorcery. Hey, glory to God, what happened, my friend? When they have believed Philip preaching the thing concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon himself believe also and will baptize he continued with philip 
and wonder beholding the miracles and sign were done. So this man called Simon, he was a witch. And the Bible says Simon himself believed also when he had baptized. So if you are a witch and you're watching this, my friend, this is the true gospel of Jesus Christ. God can save you if you are a witch. Why are you so why are you so much into witches? Because I know a witch is getting done. Witches take my mother from me. What what is what would what witchcraft did? It took my mother from me because of witchcraft. I'm trying to help you. The millions of witches out there. There's hope for you. There's healing for you. Only if you hear the enchanted word was to save your six. Sin soul. And that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. God can save you if you're willing and able to hear the enchanted word to save you. That's a witch. My friend, don't forget to subscribe to my video. And thank you for listening to Life Journey. Glory to God International. And I love you all witches. I love you all. Because there's hope and the devil is damned. And you can be hope and help and heal from God wrath to come upon you. God bless.